Mind-muscle connection. Can focusing on a muscle while you train it enhance muscle growth? An example of this would be thinking about squeezing your biceps during a set of curls, rather than just doing the exercise. Now, I first became interested in this topic when a paper back in 2009 showed that subjects performing a lat pull-down could increase the activation on their lats when given specific technique cues. So of course, I went away and squeezed the shit out of every muscle that I trained, hoping that I would get faster muscle growth. Further research validated the idea that you could shift emphasis on muscles. For example, during the bench press exercise, subjects could shift emphasis between their pecs and their triceps. However, this was shown to be load dependent and easier to do at 50% of worm rep max than 80% of worm rep max. So some people concluded that if you were training heavy enough, focusing on mind-muscle connection probably didn't matter that much. But if you were training light, for example, around 50% 1RM, focusing on the muscle that you were training was probably a good idea. So basically, if you're training heavy, don't worry about it. If you're training light, yeah, try and squeeze a muscle while you're training. It's a sound idea. But to make this more complicated, some research suggests that the length of time an individual trainee has been exercising could impact how much they can emphasize specific muscle groups. However, and this is the important thing, this is all electromyographic research, where you put electrodes on the skin and you sense activity within a muscle. It does not necessarily predict muscle growth in the long term. And of course, that's what we care about, because we care about looking good naked. Now, this is where a new study attempts to bridge that gap. Does focusing on the mind-muscle connection actually enhance muscular growth? So in this study, two exercises were used, a standing barbell curl and a leg extension. These were chosen specifically because they were single joint exercises. In previous research, they have looked at things like the lat pull down and the bench press, but focusing on a single joint exercise may make it easier for subjects to concentrate on the mind-muscle connection, rather than trying to focus on your quads while you're doing a back squat, for example. So either an internal or external cue was used. The internal cue was to squeeze the muscle, and the external cue was to get the weight up. So at the end of the trial, the internal cue, i.e. squeezing the muscle, showed greater muscle growth in the elbow flexors than the external cue did. However, this did not translate to the knee extensors, i.e. the quadriceps. So the researchers concluded that this was perhaps because subjects found it easier to focus on their biceps during training than they did to focus on their quadriceps which was also reported by the participants. Cliff notes, focusing on a target muscle during an exercise could increase activity of that muscle, but not in all instances. In terms of muscle growth, focusing on squeezing the muscle during training could also enhance muscle growth. However, this is dependent on the muscle group in question, the exercise in question, i.e. is it an isolation or a compound exercise, and also depends on the individual trainee. So in this instance, the scientific method can only get us thus far. Past that point, it is down to you to implement it in your own training and see what effects you notice. Use this as a framework, go off, try your own thing and see if you get any good results from it. So that's it. I hope it's been helpful. Thank you.